Hello, this is Brian McHenry of McHenry Software. What I'm doing is going to demonstrate to you how to create a 3D simulation in our new MSMAC 3D interface in five minutes or less. Here we go, project. New project, call it five minute demo. And I wouldn't recommend you do things in five minutes, but you can do it. Choose a vehicle. Notice we have the make, model, years. We put in a PT Cruiser for our vehicle one. Down here and pick one. Add in occupant weight. Now we go to vehicle two. Let's do a focus, Ford Focus. And we have one we pick for the year, make model. Add in the occupant and the cargo weight. Make sure you do that, it's essential. Now we go and grab our models, PT Cruiser. And if you notice, there's more than one model for the PT Cruiser. No tires and with tires. And then same for the Focus. The reason is that our tires move independent of the vehicle. So we you have to have those separate. And so we created separate models and we'll create for our users and or have a bunch of models already. We have a T intersection. We just grab a quick image for the ground image. And now we've finished. And now here we are in the new MSMAC 3D interface. There's a lot of new functions that you can use and we'll explain in other videos, but to get to our 3D simulation, we're going to first edit the bitmap underlay, go to image, you could add a Google map or other things, but we're just gonna set the size. So we zoom in and find the known dimension. No, that's 22 feet. Now we're going to set the elevations because we're gonna put a simple slope on this off-road part. So we go and say add elevations, we draw points. Notice up on the top there, there's a new draw point, edit point, make triangles, delete triangles. Now we go and we edit the points, make this minus 10 to be the bottom of the ditch. Now we make our triangles. Now we say apply. And if you look, you'll see that we have a ditch. Now, before we set this, we want to set our pitch, which we'll probably change to the default for one foot, so it's a smoother transition. Then we say save the grid. Now, the next item we need to do before we run our simulation is to our initial positions down on the lower le left corner, set positions, we grab vehicle one, move it up, rotate it, grab vehicle two, rotate them. And we can also set the velocity here, each are at 30 miles an hour. And now we're at the point where we can run the simulation. So we have created it within five minutes or less. I'm not sure what the time is right now, but when we, when I relook at this, we'll find out. But now we click run. It runs approximately twice real time. We haven't fully optimized it yet, but it'll run uh, faster than that. And now when we run the simulation, you'll see them moving down. Now the question is, is that 3D? Well, let's go down to ground level and take a look. And there you have it, how to create a 3D simulation in the new McHenry Software MSMAC 3D environment in five minutes or less. Thank you for watching.